Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Kiwi X Executor. Now, a lot of people have been reaching out to me asking me what sort of executors they can use after the Bifront update. And Kiwi X is definitely one of the executors that is currently working. Um, so first things first, of course, make sure you're on Windows 10 or 11. This will not work on any other operating system. And head down over to your Windows key or your Windows option. Uh, on Windows 11, it's going to be right here. On Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection. Go ahead and open that up and head over into manage settings just like that and turn off real-time protection. Make sure you turn this off. You will be able to turn this back on in just a moment, but for now, it needs to be off. Otherwise, you will not be able to download the executor. When you do click this, it's going to give you a little pop-up. Go ahead and click on yes, and it will turn it off. After that, you can close out of that and go into the description, which will take you to this link right here. The first link in the description, which will be the download link for the KVX executor. And after that, you just want to follow the steps that I'm doing right now. Just go ahead and click on download and that will take you to the link where ties page. It might take a few seconds to load. Make sure you don't have any ad blockers that could cause problems. Once you do get taken to this page, go ahead and click on free access and that will take you to the next page. Now, if for any reason, when you do click on free access, it doesn't say free access, but instead it says free access with ads. When you do click that, it will give you a little offer. And from there, you just want to click on I am interested and it will take you to a new page. Now, stay on that page for around 5, 10 seconds, scroll around and then you can go back to the previous tab. So, for example, if you're on this tab, you can go back to the previous tab. And then from there, you will be able to have an option at the bottom which says I have already completed this option and that will allow you to continue. Now, from here, when you do get taken to the next checkpoint, it will give you the option to download the KVX executor from there. Just choose wherever you prefer to download it. In my case, I'm going to download it to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now, if for any reason, when you do click save, it doesn't download it to your desktop or it shows the file as not completed, like you can see on the screen, then you want to go back to your browser, hold down control and press J. That will take you to, the, to your downloads where you can approve the download just like that. Now, another way of doing that is clicking over here and going into downloads like that. It's the exact same thing. Now, when you do have the downloader installed for the KVX executor, go ahead and double click that, which will open it up. Go ahead and click on next over here. Go ahead and click on decline, decline again, and then it should give you the option to click open. When you do click open, it will take you to the KVX download. From there, you can go, go ahead and click on the download page. It will ask you to do one or two steps. It's going to be quick 30 second steps. Go ahead and complete those and it should tell you the task has been completed. I've just gone ahead and done it a few seconds ago or a few minutes ago. Um, so it's not asking me to do it again. But in your case, you will have to complete the step and then you can go ahead and click on done. And that will take you to the official download page for the KVX executor. Go ahead and click on download KVX. Choose wherever you wish to download it. In my case, I'm downloading it again to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and then again I'm going to have to approve it from my downloads just like that. And now I can go over to my desktop and you will see the download page for the KVX executor. Now from here you will need a program called Venra which is a completely free program. You can download it with, with the link in the description. When you do get taken to the download page you're going to go ahead and click on this page or this option right here which will download the file for you. Choose wherever you wish to download it. Go ahead and open it up. Click on install. And click on OK and as it's as simple as that. So you've got it downloaded. You can close out of that. And then when you do go over to the KVX file, it should look similar to this with a bookshelf icon if you do have WinRAR installed. It's a free program. As I, as I said, you can download it within seconds. Go ahead and right click on KVX. Hover over WinRAR. And if you don't see the WinRAR option, select Open With and choose WinRAR. From here, you're going to click on Extract To. And then over here, you know, click desktop and click OK. And that will extract the folder to your desktop. An easier way of doing it is, let me go ahead and delete that. An easier way of doing it is right clicking it, hovering over Vinra, and selecting extract to KVX. And that will create a new folder for you on your desktop. Now, at this point, you can delete this folder and you should have a new folder called KVX on your desktop. Now, at this point, you want to go back into your virus and threat protection before you go into your KVX executor and just wait for this to open go into manage settings scroll down until you see exclusions this is a really important step go ahead and click on add or remove exclusions click on add an exclusion choose folder from here choose wherever you have your kvx executor extracted click on select folder 
and it should add it to your exclusions from here you can go back and now you can turn on your real-time protection from here if you wish to now at this point you're ready to now launch the qvx executor let's go ahead and open up the folder you've got a bunch of folders that you might recognize the auto execute the scripts folder and the fo the file that you're looking for is the qvx bootstrapper go ahead and double click on that and that will open up the qvx executor for you now at this point it will ask you to get a key so go ahead and click on get login key it will take you to this page over here click on click here to start and it will ask you to complete a little step so for me let me go ahead and do that quickly there we go click on check it says correct sometimes it might it might ask you to do it two times in a row so just go ahead and do that again it says correct and there we go so it will take you to link Fortize once again for the key and just follow the steps that i'm doing and you will be able to get the key over here it might take a couple of seconds to load that is not an issue and again for me it says free access for certain people it might say free access with ads if it does say that then you want to complete um, the offer that it asks you to do um, similar to as i explained earlier on so let's go ahead and try logging in again we're trying to try to complete the second checkpoint here we go perfect and free access with ads i don't have that option again and we've been taken to the actual key generator from here let me just go ahead and click on skip um, sometimes when you just click skip you don't have to actually complete it let me quickly verify submit and there we go so I've got my key I'm gonna double click it right click click copy go back to the executor over here you click right click and click paste or you can use a shortcut so in this case you do have to keep in mind sometimes it, it might paste like this so you have to kind of get rid of it where it says key here you kind of want to get rid of all of that before you paste the key and click on verify key and they will let you log in to your executor now in your case you will not be able to use the same key everyone has to generate their own key each key lasts for 24 hours so every 24 hours you have to complete this step again now once you do have the executor you will see a bunch of different options on the executor so let's go ahead and go into settings first so within the settings the executor offers two apis they offer the electron api and we are devs up next you've got the topmost you should be familiar with what this is so if you've got any files in the background and you're clicking those kiwi will still stay on top as long as you've got it selected if not then it will go into the background as you can see up next you've got auto execute um so this will automatically execute any scripts within your auto execute folder you've also got auto attach i recommend having this on so it will automatically attach to your roblox so you don't have to manually press inject fps unlocker this will allow you to download an external fps unlocker if you wish to in my case i'm just going to close out of that kill roblox so if your roblox is stuck you will be able to click that and it will automatically close that roblox application reinstall roblox that's that explains itself join discord you will be able to join the kvx discord from clicking here and of course you can also get the latest version or the updates for the kvx version 2 which should be coming out soon now if you go back and go into the hub tab or the game hub you will also be able to search for your own games here so if you wish to go into or if you're looking for a script for jailbreak you can search for jailbreak and you can see a bunch of scripts that open up for the game jailbreak so that's just an example of how the game hub works now let's go over into toggle scripts so you also got the toggle scripts option so if you wish to use the scripts folder um, you can also store your own scripts in here for quick access and you can click here to kind of view them and click here to close out of them and that's how that works now up next um, it's time to go into the actual showcase so to actually use the kvx executor you need to go into your microsoft store and search for kv or sorry search for roblox into your um, microsoft store so let's go ahead and do that now it's taking a couple of seconds let's let that load and let's search for roblox over here once you do search for roblox you're gonna go in here and open it up so for any reason if you do inject kvx into your roblox application and you roblox crashes that simply means that you need to update your roblox so go over into library from here click on get updates and update your roblox application and that should fix the um, attach issue now once you've done that you can go back into roblox and at this point you're ready to pretty much inject your executor into your roblox application so once your roblox has opened up in the background you will be able to click attach now i do have auto attach on so it probably has automatically attached there you go so auto attach is working and it has automatically injected and you can see at the top as well a little notification that pops up saying in kvx has injected successfully now let's go into any game and try out a script and everything should be working fine so let me go ahead and grab a script there we go and let's load in 
perfect execute the script and there we go it's working perfectly fine so let's go ahead and try that out um let me just turn on a few options there we go and let's see if that's working oh okay the, the game has ended for a second i thought my game was bugged out but it's because the new match is just about to start so let's wait for that to start um, but you can see the esp is working completely fine and the aim bot or the the kill all should be working as well and that's pretty much the kiwi x executor guys it is definitely one of the best executors working right now with the bifront patch um so i would definitely recommend grabbing it if you have not tried it out in the past again i am also new to this executor i'm definitely impressed with the performance so far i also like the compact design of the executor and you can see the kill all is also working in the background and yeah that's it for the video guys if you do have any questions you can also join the kvx support discord server that you can find on the actual kvx executor and that's it for the video if you did like it make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching